ura kitai, he wahine ki uta, o koera ke uta e whinae. Welcome back to This Is Your Life. Uh, Finna, by the time you'd reached your 80th birthday in 1975, many people felt that you'd reached the age where you had the right to retire from public life. But maybe they'd forgotten that you are a warrior woman. Because 1975 was the year when you faced one of your greatest challenges. You were asked by a group of young activists to lead a new organisation concerned with Māori issues. At the heart of its concern was the subject of land. New Zealand's land area, as any student of geography should know, is around about 66 million acres. Now, in the mid-60s, only about 5 million acres of that land remained in Māori hands. Ten years later, it was less than half of that. Now, it was your belief that if that trend continued, the Māori would become landless and, as a result, lose traditional values. Well, from all of this can the Māori land march. Joining you now is a person who observed very closely that extraordinary event then a journalist, now a community worker in Taranaki. Please welcome Vivian Hutchinson. Oh. <laughs> 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 yes, we're all getting slaps on the hand yeah. tonight. How long since you last saw Fina? Since that time. Since well, that time. Oh, some memories will be coming back tonight. Yes. <laughs> you, you were a journalist at the time. What, what, as you remember it, were the lasting achievements of the march? Well, um, looking back, we can now see that it was the beginning of a whole renaissance of, of Maori views and awareness in this, in this country. Uh, what started as 40 people grew very quickly to something like 40,000 people. <laughs> and uh, Finna, of course, was the symbol of that struggle. And um, she was like the feather on the head of that march. Um, as a Pākehā at that time, I realised it was also the beginning of a whole uh, reawakening of Pākehā awareness of the, of the struggle that she'd been doing for, at that time, nearly 80 years. Um, she dominated the headlines of this, this country for nearly a month. And um, I suppose New Zealanders, as a people, had um, to look straight in the face of a race, and this woman in particular. And um, those questions, those issues started to come up again and still with us today. Well, you walked the entire length of, of the march. You uh, observed uh, Finna closely. You got to know her. What would you say uh, is her greatest strength? Well, she's the finest political orator I think I've ever heard in Māori and in English. And um, I've seen her walk into um, sometimes hostile rooms and just turn the whole tone of that room with her, with her wit, her... her um, Strategy and her walking sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian, thank you very much indeed for joining Dame Finna tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Vivian Hutchinson. Yeah.